Hello Aquarius, welcome to your weekly forecast for June 10th through the 16th. We have a little bit of a different setup this week. For those of you who usually watch these videos, you know that we have a little bit of a different setup. We are in the summer mood and I'm using a brand new beautiful mermaid deck here. As always, I will have the deck info in the description. And there was so much positive feedback guys. Uh, about the prayer from last week that I'm going to include a blessing card at the end of this video too. And then we'll see. Maybe next week I'll do I'll do something else at the end. But we'll do another prayer for Aquarius at the end. We're going to see what's coming up for Aquarius. Uh, this is a general reading for finances, career, family life, friendship. Um, whatever kind of comes up. Spirituality. Love readings are separate. There's a link to the love readings in the description. Uh, sometimes love comes up, but we'll see. But usually the love readings are separate. And there's a link for those in the description as well. But let's see what's going to happen in the week ahead for Aquarius. So here's your Monday, Tuesday. Your Wednesday, Thursday. And your Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. Alright, so Monday, Tuesday, you have Lemuria Returns. Earthly Spirituality Community ocean and conservation so this is a very beautiful card and as you know those of you who know who are regulars on my channel you've heard me say before i am someone that reads the cards intuitively so in addition to the words or in addition to whatever the book might say the card is about i also look at the images and see just kind of like what jumps out at me okay so it's very easy here to see um this uh pregnant mermaid here right so, so for some of you this could be a very uh, literal situation some of you maybe are expecting or you're trying to conceive there may be good news coming for you in that way um however you know that purple the purple hair is really jumping out at me and purple for me is a color of spirituality it's a color of transmutation which is a very fancy word <laughs> which um is something associated with archangel michael which is when um energy is being purified or cleansed and turned into something new so i do feel some of you aquarius you're in the process right now of taking a lot of negativity that's been around you and it's being transmuted or recycled, cleansed, cleared, refined, uh, and you are going to be birthing something very new with it. Some of you have had some epiphanies or are beginning to um, have epiphanies that's coming to you because of some hardships or trials that you've had or difficulty difficulties that you've gone through where it's giving you an idea um it's like the old saying goes necessity is the mother of uh invention necessity is the mother of invention like you're like man i really wish i would have had that why doesn't that exist well hey i'm gonna make it i'm gonna create it okay and so for some of you this could be like an actual literal in invention it could be some kind of an organization or a coalition or a group of people that you're going to be bringing to together it could be an app uh it could be uh uh, a, a work of like a writing or something that you're doing some of you are maybe those of you who are more spiritually in tune you may be creating your own little modality of healing or something you know but i do feel that the majority of you aquarius is in the beginning of the week are in this energy of where you're taking a negative and you're turning it into a positive or, or you're finding a way to to make something good come out of a difficult situation um i would invite you to look at the picture and see what you see and what messages maybe jump out at you and maybe make it a little bit more personal for you in that way okay uh, and this is also a card of, like it says ocean conservation so those of you who are more environmentally involved or who care about the environment and you've been thinking of something that you want to do or you've maybe going to have some downtime in the summer uh, this might be a good chance for you to go out and do something and like you know uh, cleaning up the beaches or if you wanted to volunteer doing something like that uh, or getting involved in some type of environmentalism. Some of you might be uh, encountering soul family in that way or meeting some people that are going to be significant for you in your life or have a connection with like-minded people. Okay? So your Wednesday, Thursday is energy field adjustment. 
Aura cleansing and health. I, I already called it, guys. I told you in the beginning part of the week, I felt like a lot of you Aquarius, you were having a lot of negative energy around you. And so a lot of you in the beginning of the week, you're already beginning this process of trying to find the positive through it or coming up with ideas of maybe ways that you think you're going to help other people um, who are going through a similar situation. I do feel some of you are, are going to specifically be um, like I said, inventing or creating something. Maybe for some of you, it's uh, resources or things for families and children who've been going through a hard time or who are dealing with, you know, toxic parents or something like that, um, whatever it might be. But in the middle of the week, you have energy field adjustments. So as you're working on these ideas, a lot of you Aquarius are realizing that it's a little bit of a time to take a bit of a break and do some kind of cleansing. Some of you have been very interested for a very long time in uh, things like meditation, cord cutting, white light meditations, things of that nature, but maybe you just haven't tried them. And I think that in the beginning of the week, a lot of you are feeling guided to do this. Some of you, and I feel this very strongly, Aquarius, some of you are coming up with your own little ceremony, your own little way of doing it. Like some of you are watching this video and you're really curious and you're very interested in things like oracle cards and tarot and spirituality and you feel that you have a strong sense of mysticism or spirituality but you're also very afraid to connect because you feel like well I don't know what if it's a bad thing I was raised believing that you shouldn't do this kind of thing so some of you maybe you feel freaked out or you feel weirded out to do something in terms of like a white light meditation and I can sit here and tell you all day hey no it's great you should do it but you know some of you might just be like no I'm not comfortable those of you I feel that you're finding some way in which you're connecting with your spirituality and you're coming up with something on your own you're coming up with your own little like cleanse and you're coming up with your own little visualization and you're bringing in your higher power into it uh, but I do feel this feels to me more of a sense of some kind of ceremony or prayer that you're coming up with and that you're doing midweek. Uh, I think it was Aquarius. It was last week or the week before where you guys were maybe distancing yourselves from certain people or you were setting boundaries. And that's been coming up for a lot of the different signs. So I'm pretty sure it's come up with you guys for you guys in the last few weeks at least anyway um this energy cleansing this energy adjustment this is beyond just kind of disconnecting from certain people you're actually coming up with some sense of uh like a practice or a sanctuary where you're you're cleansing your aura and you're you're just kind of taking back your power from a situation you're taking back your power okay your friday saturday and sunday you have oh what did i say Ooh, I just got chills. Wave of power, a surge of power, upswing in energy, accelerating movement. I love when that happens, guys. I love when that happens. I said you're taking back your power. And is this confirmation or is this confirmation? A surge of power, upswing in energy, exhilarating movement. Yeah, so you guys are really on track, Aquarius, for being able to just kind of... Uh, get back into your strength. I, you know, and I'm sorry to say this, and I try not to say things that are too negative. Those of you who watch my videos, you know I really try to keep it positive. Even if there's bad news coming in or there's something that doesn't sound fun, I try to approach it from an encouraging way, right? Like, oh, you're going to get through this and it's going to be great. And I'm not sugarcoating it. I'm just approaching it from the positive aspect. Um, but I do feel Aquarius, some of you have had somebody that has been seeing how much you've been growing, how much you've been changing, how much you've been uh, progressing and really finally beginning to step into your full potential. And they have felt a little bit threatened by it. And they've been doing things maybe kind of to get under your skin or to get into your head a little bit and freak you out or uh, try to make you doubt yourself. Uh, some of you maybe are full on having somebody that's been like full on gaslighting you. But you're breaking out of that and you're taking back your power and you're not being phased by this person or persons anymore. Um, you're really learning to trust yourself and to trust your judgment and to just kind of go your own way, okay? And the way that you're being guided to go in. We're going to go ahead and take a look at the prayer, at the blessing. 
and see what is coming up for our Aquarius friends there. Okay. And you have a blessing on a resolution, which makes sense because we are getting a little bit of a conflict, right? Where maybe somebody is kind of, uh, you know, trying to make you second guess yourself or giving you a hard time. Or maybe they don't like the direction that you're going in. But resolution here means that we can maybe resolve this problem or resolve this situation and make it better. Okay. So as always, I'm going to go ahead and read this. Uh, not all as always, but since like last week how we did it. I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to read the blessing. And if you guys want to save this video and come back to it for the remainder of the week, maybe listen to it at night before you go to bed or in the morning when you're starting your day or whenever you need a little pick me up. I'm going to go ahead and put this blessing on you, Aquarius. A blessing to bring respectful resolution to a troubling condition, situation, or set of circumstances for Aquarius. May there be a blessing on all concerned within this troubling time, this conundrum that has kept you awake and had you fearful. May all those involved see the beauty in a swift and easy solution which presents itself simply and in perfect timing. May the quarrels and the disputes become history and be learned from so that errors of judgment are never repeated. May all involved become their best self, devoted to finding a way through the puzzle pieces of peaceful resolution of a grievance. May any ill feeling be softly replaced with quiet optimism and the willingness to be open, honest, and understanding of all parties' true needs. May there be no more trickery, no more hiding, no more falsehoods, no more rancor, and no more fear. Let all those involved come to a respectful meeting and truthfully find a fruitful way to restore dignity to all. May your particular needs be more than met. May your expectations be unclouded. And may greed fall away from any who have sought to take advantage of these troubles. May none profit from the separations that have taken place. But may what is decided be fair and just. And recognize all that you have contributed for so long. May there be a blessing on every conversation, on every meeting, and finally when you walk from the table and all is divided and terms are agreed upon, may all brooding subterranean resentments be rooted out and purified, never to rise again. Let you be satisfied and make the most of this resolution and go forward freed from any burdens and uplifted and supported by what you have rightfully and honorably gained. Blessings to you, Aquarius.